Hello everyone, the weather forecasters promised us a very pleasant day for football and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray, joined here in the commentary position as always by Lee Dixon. And coming up, live action from Ligue 1, technically speaking, one of the finest leagues in the world. It's Saint-Étienne and they face Paris FC. Yeah, thanks Derek. Both teams will no doubt be looking for a quick start. So important to get focus from the off. Really looking forward to this. Hopefully it won't disappoint. An important interception. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. And options in the centre. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, this is the team that Saint-Étienne will go with. Would you call it 4-5-1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4-2-3-1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. He takes aim and a powerful effort, but just lacking accuracy. Yeah, narrowly wide, Derek. Decent effort. He smashed it. Manager's trying to get his message across on the touchline. They've just got to keep pushing. Surely a goal will come. Now can they make something happen? Fulquier manoeuvring his way forward he has teammates to play it to and he was in the right place to intercept well that's one for them to pursue oh he's through here and now he must score and a goal it is the opener in this game well keep it tight that's what both managers would have been insane but now the opening goal's gone in tactics have got to change well here's the replay you've got to ask questions about the back line and the goalkeeper they're simply not there well he's got to be delighted with his players a big smile on his face they've got the noses in front they're in the lead well done one nil then In possession, Doan. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Crossing possibilities. It did look as though it was rather a fruitful avenue, but nothing doing. Delightful pass. Is it going to be? Well, every finisher's dream. And a goal it is. They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Well, here it is. How do you like him? In an open goal, please. No goalkeeper, no defenders. Where were they all? Well, no wonder he's delighted. They've been bossing this game up to now. It's going their way. 2-0. It is a decent-looking attack here. Giving it straight to the opposition. Happy to take on the shot. It's got to be! You know what? He's going to be annoyed with himself given the position he was in, Lee. Well, yeah, they worked it really well, didn't they? He's got in a position to score and not really took advantage of that. Well, look at that. St Etienne enjoying the bulk of possession here. Shot attempted. And that's a fine stop. 
So now a corner. And he's fired over the corner. It comes to absolutely nothing. Alan Franco. I think he knew he was guilty of fouling. Free kick conceded. Roberts. Top class defending. It's the high pressure, high intensity approach. Fruitful looking attack. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Hassan Diose. Martin Lines. Ritsu Doan couldn't keep it. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. A highly purposeful attack, this. The emphasis on getting the ball forward. Ritsu Doan. Mvila. In possession, Doan. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. Really tense battle so far, and now the second half is underway. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. It's with Fulquier. A very good tackle. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Well, coming up on EA TV, more action from Liga. It's Saint Etienne versus Gironda de Bordeaux. Yeah, it's very easy to build a case for those two teams to make that game a real cracker. You should be tuning in for that one. Monduki. Well, this is the home of live football, and we have more. Might be able to set up the chance. Good technique displayed. Pulls it back, and in it goes! Well, here's the replay. Defenders don't like it when he goes to wide areas because they know what's going to happen. The ball's going to come into the box, and on that occasion, it comes in, and now they're picking it out the back of the net. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. The ball rolling again in what has been an utterly one-sided match. Well, great read there to intercept. Well, big news concerning Chelsea on the transfer front. The fans delighted that they've got their man, Lee. Well, Derek, a fee of around £40 million is being banded around. That places a huge responsibility on the player's shoulders. Can he carry that load? Watch this space. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Can they switch to an even higher gear? Mvila. Do you say? And Linez here. Hassan Diose. On the ball to Sheira. Oh, a vital interception. Clattered away. Franco. And Vila has it. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. No nonsense clearance. And offside it is. And Buda Buz now. And they are on the move again. 
Here's Riyad Boudibouz giving it a try. And he got to it fairly easily. Oh, he's given it away. Superbly read and executed. Given away. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. And a substitution in the offing. Mvila. Well, that is how to play advantage. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. So a throw in here. Often tempting to blow your whistle straight away, but the referee let it flow and then went back and handed out the yellow card. Well, he thought he got away with it, and he? he looked over his shoulder, then all of a sudden the referee's there with a the yellow card. Mark Stendera, Fulquier. And five minutes to go. On the ball, Stendera. Hassan Diouze. Can they get in behind them? No, just couldn't keep the ball. I think he knew he was guilty of fouling. Free kick conceded. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Conte. And now it is truly final. The match is over. He takes aim. Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray, joined in the commentary position by Lee Dixon. And coming up, live action from Liga. technically speaking, one of the finest leagues in the world. It's Paris FC up against Nice. Thank you, Derek. I was just flicking through my notes at this one. Everything points into a really lively matchup. This is fingers crossed, eh? And dispossessed. The lineup then for the hosts. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4 2 3 1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4 5 1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. And they'll get ready for the throw in. The cross is on. Well, they get high marks for that move, but they couldn't make it count. Breaking at pace. Defenders need to cover. Well, not to be in terms of the counter-attack. They need to be careful here. Well, listen to that, Derek. They think it was a nailed-on pen. The ref didn't know. 
Bravo. Well, here's how it looks for Nice. This particular setup is becoming more and more in favour. Yes, Derek, one central striker, two wingers will provide the width, a very narrow three in midfield, a back four, the two full-backs will be expected to support, but also defend and help out the centre-backs. And scope for the cross. Real danger. Clattered away. No one had to think hard about that decision. Offside the verdict. Yeah, good line from the defence there. Moreno. And teammates to play it to. And crossed in the direction of the back post. Well, clattered away. Tamez. And the referee spot. And the keeper there to make sure nothing untoward happened. Roberts. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the... Well, incumbent upon the referee to stop play so that treatments can be administered. Very good use of advantage there by the official. Letting the play carry on and then only subsequently handing out the yellow card. Yeah, absolutely, and that's what the fans want. They want to see the game going on. They don't want to see it stopped for something like that. You can always go back and book the player later. Pizarro, Moreno, moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. And you've got to keep the ball a bit better than that. A bit sloppy in possession. Well, that's a splendid piece of challenging. Well, look at the stats. Nice enjoying the bulk of possession here. But really, possession doesn't score your goals. You need to be a little bit more forceful in front of goal. They need to get the shots away. And whipped into the box. Oh, a vital interception. They don't normally need a second invitation to give it a go on the counter. A really sumptuous ball. And he takes on the shot. Well, not a million miles away. Well, that was great football, Derek. Using their pace to full effect. So close. Now Cipria, Cup Mainers, Ganago. As an attacking player, you rather hope you'll get the decision in your favour, but offside here. Yeah, the defence got that spot on, and so did the linesman. Cipria, Cup Mainers. Moreno, Pizarro, Ganago with it, couldn't keep the ball. Martin, so the whistle then, we're at the halfway stage in this match. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Cipriat. Ganago. Welbeck. Ganago with it. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. My oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. More excitement from Liga coming your way on EA TV. It's Paris FC facing Olympic Lyonnais. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium. Should be a really entertaining match. A chance to nudge in front. Corner kick here. So the corner played into the box. 
Now that would be straightforward for any keeper. Abdi. A league that's always technically very sound, Liga. And a game for you to look forward to on EA TV. It's Nice versus Girondin de Bordeaux. Yeah, atmospheres make games, Derek. And that should be an absolute belter. Cyprien. Welbeck. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. In full control of the ball here. Martin. Monduki. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Monduki. Just cutting off the supply. Can they hit on the break? It's with Cop Mainers. And well, they did have the ball, but not anymore. A highly purposeful attack, this. The emphasis on getting the ball forward. Cop Mainers. Cross played over, but no one can latch onto the ball. Almost what you might call a jaw-dropping save. Oh, he's got no right to make that save. It's absolutely fantastic. I think everyone knew that was foul play, and the referee left with little choice but to award the free kick. And that will mean a caution. Well, definitely yellow card, Derek. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. And he whips it in. And the keeper acquitted himself well. Yeah, it was a good ball in, wasn't it? But the keeper did everything right. Just 10 minutes to go. It's with Cop Mainers. Cyprian. Moreno. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Monduki. Conte. Dangerous looking attack. Oh, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Well, that's one for them to pursue. And he's in. Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. Cyprian. Getting forward. Defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. And there it is, the final whistle.